C'est un honneur et un plaisir d'être ici. Um, nous annonçons aujourd'hui uh, que Rio Tinto devient notre partenaire avec un investissement de 10 millions de dollars. C'est un grand pas pour Nano One. Cela rassemble les gens, le savoir-faire, la technologie et le gouvernement. Nous voulons aider à faire que le Canada et le Québec soient des leaders avec un écosystème de batteries localisées, durables, propres et compétitifs. Adding to this now is Rio Tinto, and this brings horsepower and the kind of know-how that can propel us into a terawatt-hour uh, era of lithium-ion battery materials. Stratégique avec Nano One, qui s'inscrit d'une part dans le cadre de la transition énergétique et également dans les différentes stratégies gouvernementales et notamment la stratégie à l'initiative Mine Mobilité du gouvernement du Canada. Mais également la stratégie du gouvernement québécoise de développement de la batterie et notre volonté très claire de positionner Rio Tinto comme un élément et un acteur clé de cette transition. Cette opportunité d'affaires et de partenariat avec Nano One répond également à notre engagement de développer les minéraux critiques et stratégiques afin de dérisquer la chaîne d'approvisionnement. À titre d'exemple, nous voyons des opportunités. Rio Tinto croit au potentiel de cette technologie. Given Canada's known deposits and untapped mineral potential for each of these key resources needed to produce batteries and other relevant products, not to mention our manufacturing sectors, Canada is well positioned to develop a globally competitive value chain. It's, it's very important for us to bring strategic investment in, into the company because it, uh, it, it really shows our, uh, the investment community and our other partners uh, that there is a, a serious kind of recognition of the technology that we have developed and are bringing forward. So I, I think this turns a, a page for Nano One and, and uh, I think puts this on a, uh, an basically on an international stage with one of the largest um, materials companies in the world. Um, we're very happy to be in this situation. Of this battery ecosystem in Canada, how do you see Chinese investment coming in if it were to come in? So uh, the, driver, uh, the drivers behind uh, the critical mineral strategy are two things. The first is the energy transition, uh, and we must ensure access to, uh, to supplies of critical minerals to ensure we can build enough batteries and cars and solar panels and wind turbines. Um, but the second is the geopolitics. Um, you know, many critical minerals right now are controlled and particularly processed in China. Um, and uh, many others are, uh, are mined in Russia. Uh, I think it is uh, in the aftermath of what we have seen, the terrible tragedies that are happening in Ukraine, it is incumbent upon democratic countries to ensure that there is access uh, on an ongoing basis to the strategic crit critical minerals we will need. And in that context, uh, Canada will be moving forward to develop those, but also to ensure that we are putting in place appropriate protection. The first one is for uh, Dan. And uh, so the camp plant uh, that you acquired last month, uh, as I understand it, is relatively small. Uh, and uh, today you've mentioned uh, terawatt hour era a couple of times. Uh, so I'm just wondering, what will it take to scale up that site? And uh, what role could Rio Tinto play? Yeah, so, so I guess, first of all, just a small correction. We planned to uh, acquire uh, the, uh, the Johnson Matthew site, so that doesn't close for a few months yet. But uh, when we sure. do, it will be a platform, a launch pad for us um, of, into the cathode material space, both as a, as a demonstration facility to prove that our technology works at a, uh, at a relevant scale to the automotive industry. As you say, the plant itself could not supply the automotive industry in its current size. Our plans are to, uh, to use that as a launch pad to develop larger, uh, larger facilities, potentially demonstrated on the site, potentially demonstrated elsewhere with our automotive partners. And that's, uh, that's how we plan to scale. It starts small, but we think big and we go fast. <laughs>